Hey, you have probably heard about League of Legends and most certainly about 3D art. Well, I've got a problem with both. I really want to get better at art, but instead of practicing, I play League. Too much League. When I thought about combining these two, I came across the idea of recreating some of the items in 3D. So I decided to search for some reference, open up Blender and began creating my own versions of the Doran's items. Starting with the mage's favorite, Doran's ring. I began with a basic circle and adjusted the shape so that it had these two ends going past each other. Then I added some depth and thickness and worked on the corners a bit. This is also where I deviate from the original bit, making it thinner and sort of pointy on the corners. Now to the big part, sculpting in the details. It was basically a matter of scraping off the edges, adding some damage and trying to achieve sort of a stone-like feel. That's just something I always imagined, you know, the ring being made out of stone, so that's what I tried to do. With the details done, I was about to tediously retopologize the ring by hand so that I could bake all the details of the high poly count model to one retopologized version with a significantly lower poly count. This is just so you could use this in the game as well, even though my final poly count is technically a bit too high to be called optimized. But since it will never need to deform, I decided to try the decimate modifier, basically letting Blender reduce the poly count while keeping the shape. Now this leaves us with very bad topology, but since it never deforms, all that counts is that the result looks good. And speaking of good looks, I exported both versions and brought them into Substance Painter for texturing. Here you can see the magic of baking textures. This ugly looking thing becoming a fully detailed beauty. For the texturing itself, I tried to keep it simple and see how it would look in the final render, since I could always go back and add more complexity. I pretty much just created a base layer with color and roughness information, added some dark and bright extras, highlighted the edges and darkened the cavities. Texturing, done. Now all that's left is rendering. And to be completely honest, I don't have much experience in rendering. I played around here and there over the years, but I was more the export to Unreal kind of guy, never actually rendering in Blender. But I had watched some tutorials on lighting and rendering, so I just gave it a shot. And after playing around with the lighting and camera position for a bit, I finally got a render. That looked a bit dull. So I tried the compositor for the first time. And with a bit of post-process magic, this is my version of Torrance Ring. Riding the high that finally finishing a project and also being happy with the result gave me, I quickly set my sights on the two remaining items and decided to do Doran's Blade next. And what a mistake that was. I had no experience in modeling swords and while I was optimistic at the start, after failing at modeling this simple blade over and over again, I began to feel frustrated. There was no easy front view that I could just trace over like many tutorials do and since I had never even done that with other swords, I was lacking the overall experience. So I decided it was for the best to take a break and try again tomorrow. And oh boy, did it help. For some reason it just clicked and I could at least somewhat achieve what I was trying to do. After that creating the base for the guard as well as the handle and pommel was a breeze. So once again I went on to sculpting, adding a bit of damage here and there and putting most of the work into the guard. At this point I should mention that I never really liked the way Doran's blade looks. It always felt a bit too much like a toy for me, it's hard to explain. Which is why I tried something different that some of you might like and others probably won't. I made the blade a bit longer and sharper. I also changed the design of the handle to see what I could come up with. In hindsight I'm not really happy with the result though, but it was good practice nonetheless. This time I just used my blockout meshes as the low poly versions and went onto texturing a substance paint again. I followed the same basic principles that I applied with the ring, doing different materials for the different parts. Back in Blender I once again tried my best with the render setup, really trying to mimic the pinkish reddish edge highlights on the right. In the end, D-Blade is probably my least favorite result of the three items. Let me know which one you like the best and maybe which one you think was the worst. This is also my first video, so if you like what I'm doing, maybe consider leaving a like and possibly even subscribe. It means a lot to me. Anyways, here is my version of Torrance Blade. With two items done, only good old Doran sheet was left. And thank god it didn't prove to be a challenge like the blade. For this one, I once again started off with a circle and added some depth and thickness. I then pulled out some edges to recreate these bumps from the icon. Then I just scattered some basic cylinders for the nails around the ring. The wooden part was pretty straightforward. I took a box, shaped it and used an array modifier to get these five planks and cut out the shape with a boolean. If you look somewhat closely at the reference, you can see that the wooden part is actually curved. And I really liked that, so I pulled out the middle with a slight fall off. Block out, done. For the metal border, I added some damage to the edges and a couple of cuts, nothing too crazy. Same with the nails. For the wood, I also damaged the edges, because perfectly straight edges are just boring. 
but of course I also added some wood grain and damages showing that it was put to good use. With the high poly sculpted and the low poly from the block out, I went into texturing, trying to create a procedural, somewhat painterly style for both the wood and the metal. But for some reason it just didn't feel right when rendering. I think since I used the perfect edges from the block out, all the damaged edges felt flat. So instead of adjusting my blockout geometry, I did what any normal person would do, I used the decimate modifier again. Then I baked the maps again and used my previous texture setup and finally got back to rendering. That was also not too hard. I used the spotlight to light the main wooden portion and scattered some additional point and area lights for highlights around the border, as well as some nice edge highlights. With all that done, here is my version of Doran's shield. I had a lot of fun doing this and learned quite a lot. So if you have any ideas or wishes for future items or ideas on how I could improve these sorts of videos, make sure to let me know in the comments. Until next time, have a fantastic day.